this is Dr. Kyle Roberts. Welcome back to this series that we're doing for Resultant that we're talking about uh, doing analytic apps inside of Alteryx. And so uh, if you haven't seen our Resultant YouTube page, please click on that. And you will also note that uh, part one and part two and part one, we built this part. Part two, we added on to it with this part. And now we're going to do part three. And what we're going to look at is we're going to use a drop down, but we're going to have to do a little bit on this because we're going to actually populate the drop down to make it easier on ourselves. Yeah, so let's go ahead and add a filter into here and I'm going to uh, pull that browse tool way out there because we're going to need some space. Uh, so let's put this filter in there. And then on this filter, what we're going to do is we're going to say color equals, and I'll just pick one of the colors. There's three colors coming in. Uh, so there is a, a blue, red, and green. And so now we're going to filter on that color. Okay, now what do we need to do? We want to get a drop down tool, but in order to do the drop down, we have to tell Alteryx what are the options for the drop down. This is relatively easy to do. The first thing is I'm going to pull in a summarize tool over here. And then we're going to connect to the original data stream into that. And so now with this summarize tool, because the string, I mean, the color is the thing that I'm going to want to filter on. I'm going to do a group by color. And then after that, I'm just going to do a, um, I'm just going to do a count of each of the ones. It doesn't really matter what you put on the second one for color, um, but just do an account by it because you'll see in a little bit, we're not actually going to use those numbers. Okay. So if I just run this, you can see coming through here, here's now my blue, green, red and count. Now, what I need to do is I need to turn these blue, green and red, I need to turn them into variable names. Um, and so that they can be read as an input for the ultra drop down tool. So to do that, I'm just going to grab my cross tab because it's right now it's in this uh, long format and I want to make it wide. So I'm going to grab that cross tab tool, pull it in there. And then um, the column headers will be the color. That's what I want. Uh, values will be count. And then you just need to select any of these. So I'll just select some so that ought to work. Let me run this just to show you kind of what it looks like now. So now I have those colors that are the options of the colors that are in my data set, all available as variable names. So now what I want to do is now we'll go to our interface tool and then we'll pull in this drop down tool and pull it in right about there. And I'm going to delete that connection because it's connected to the wrong spot. Um, I want to connect it to this lightning bolt. Uh, but first, what we're going to do is we're going to tell uh, Alteryx where to get our information from. So now I, out of this uh, cross tab tool, I'm going to have that going into the top of my drop down. And now if I click on my drop down, you can see that the text to be displayed. Well, I will going to put in here select color. And then do you see this as list values fields from a connected tool. So that's where it's going to get the values or options for. OK, and now I can connect this. I can connect this to that lightning bolt and you'll see that that uh, uh, the action tool is now populated. And so we have to tell the action tool what to do. So open up simple, open up operands, and we're going to replace that operand value of blue. Okay, so that is going to, and we're replacing that part of the string, or, you know, we could replace just a specific part of it, but I'm just clicking on that just to be in good practice there. Okay, so now here's the great part. If I click on my run as analytic app, you'll see that now I have three questions. So in order to see this working, I'm going to put my score as greater than zero, and then I'll put my date as uh, uh, greater than October 31st, because that's actually earlier than the earliest date on there. So now if I click blue, just select blue and hit finish, now you'll see, all right, blue is selected there. Okay, so now we can, they see that drop is populated, now I can hit green and finish and we see, okay, green's populated there. Okay, and then if we want to, we could actually change this to where it's like no, November 15th. And now if I select green from November 15th, you'll see only one row is selected. That's that last row in our data set. Okay, all right. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of this session on uh, how to run these analytic apps. Again, uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, we're going to be making more of these types of videos, but this is just a short video showing you how to quickly do analytic apps inside of Alteryx. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. We'll try to monitor them and get back to you. And also leave us an idea on what you'd like for us to tackle next. Really appreciate it. Again, Kyle Roberts from Resultant. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with us.